right, y'all. There's the big bait tonight, man. Live crappie going down. Send him down there. I'm just getting set up here. I think it's around 6 p.m. I'm gonna fish a few hours here after dark. I'm in a creek channel tonight. 36 feet deep, just off the main channel. And I'm gonna have my baits down in this creek channel, just up off the bottom. Being that I'm in 36 feet, I'm gonna have my baits about 33, 34 feet deep. I have two live baits to start and two pieces of cut bait to start. And we'll just put a variety down there and see what these fish want. Now that was the live crappie there. I've got a live shiner I'm about to put on that rod. And these two over here, we'll do the cut bait. We'll kind of mix it up. We'll do a shad and a white bass and just kind of, like I said, give them a variety, see what they want. All right, there goes our shiner down. It's a fairly large shiner. So hopefully he'll conjure us up something down there. This is my second trip of the day. I went out for a couple of hours this morning and didn't do worth a flip. Man, I didn't, didn't do any good at all. So I thought, well, we'll try it again this evening and see if some fish get active. There goes our white bass head. Send it down. Last bait, gizzard shad head. These baits are pretty fresh. I got them last night. I went out yesterday evening with the ultralight rod. And I got a couple crappie, a white bass, and I threw the cast net. And got me some shad. I kept one, uh, the biggest gizzard shad I got, I kept it alive. It's in the bait tank there. We may end up using it as a live bait later or we may end up cutting it. And uh, I've got one more crappie in there. I think that's it on the live bait because I used the white bass as a live bait this morning. It died, so that's the one we just used up on the cut bait there. So we'll soak them for a few hours here. We got about another hour and a half, two hours of daylight. And then I'm gonna stay out here probably till 10, 11 o'clock tonight. So we'll see what happens. Here we go on the white bass head right there, buddy. Let's pick up on him. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the skunk out right here, y'all. It's taking a while. Man, he's pulling, ain't he? He's a swimming. It's taking, gosh, probably an hour. Maybe a little over an hour now. I've just been biding my time. Just waiting on some fish to get active in here. I've seen some on the graph pass by my baits, but that's a flathead. I was hoping to maybe see one or two of them tonight. All right, y'all, that one gobbled up the white bass head. Flathead right there, just a small one, but getting the skunk out and getting it out with the flathead, I'll take that. You know, I got two live baits over here, got that crappie, you got the shiner up there. This one chose the cut baits. Good to have options, they can pick what they want. Well, let's let him go. So, yeah. Oh, goodness. You know, that head is still in good shape, so. We'll send it right back down like it is. They ain't even got to rehook it. Uh oh, y'all. Uh oh. We're getting some live bait going on here. I didn't have the camera rolling when I hooked him. But, we got us a fresh white bass right here. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. I saw some busting up there chasing Chad. I got these, my skipjack rod with me here. Now I got a couple just white grubs. It's a, a one eighth ounce jig head. I got two of them on the line there. Got him. We'll throw him in the bait well back here. All right, y'all, I was gonna save that white bass. I just can't help myself. We're getting right here around sunset. And so I'm gonna send him down and see what he can stir up for us. I'm like a kid, you know, with the two days before Christmas. I just can't wait to open that present. So we're gonna send him down there and see what he brings us. Uh oh, y'all. My live crappie got eat. My live crappie got eat. I can't get that rod out the rod holder, man. There we go. I felt a thump. And I flipped that light on and saw my rod tip over there. I've been waiting on that to go down all night. Let me just see what time it is. 10 o'clock on the dot right now, y'all. Oh yeah, he's gonna pull. I bet you that's a flathead. I 
He's been waiting on that one to go down, man. Either one of these live baits, for that matter. Because the cut baits ain't getting nothing going on. Ain't even getting dink taps on them. Look at that. Look at that small flathead. That was over a 10 inch crappie. This flathead had a big appetite. They'll take some big baits, folks. All right, guys, there we go. A little flathead. Not the size of the fish I was hoping to get on that big crappie, but I'm thankful to get him, man. It's been a slow night out here. I mean, two fish so far, three if you count that white bass I caught, but been a, it's been a tough night. One of them nights, man. I didn't do worth a crap this morning when I went out. And two fish now, but I'm thankful to get them both. There he is, one last look. Now let's send him home. There you go. All right. Well, let's put us another bait on there and uh, stay out here a little while longer. I actually moved. I was in that creek channel there till after dark, and there just wasn't nothing going on, man. Nothing, no ding taps, no nothing. So I moved over here. I'm fishing a point now, 40 feet of water, and I well, thought we'll just soak baits here for the remainder of the trip, but I ain't going to give it maybe 30 minutes, another hour. I'm going to head on out of here if the bite don't pick up. But let's get another bait on there and try to get one more if we can. All right, guys, let's try us a live gizzard shad on there. I had kept one of them gizzard shad alive that I got last night in my bait well back there. That bait well, I made it myself, just a DIY job. I'll have to make a video on it eventually, but uh, I can keep a few shad alive in it. Not many, but I can keep a few. So I just had that one that was that size there last night, so I thought, I'll keep him. We'll use him as a live bait tonight, or if the bite had been good, I could have cut him. And he'd just been, you know, really fresh cut bait. But uh, we'll stick him on there live, and if he catches the fish for us, great. If he don't, that's fine too. When we get done with him, we'll throw him in the cooler. We'll use him on cut for cut bait on the next trip. Yes, sir, Chad got hit. There it goes. Live gizzard chat, he wasn't down there long, man. Something gobbled him up. Of two on the live bait now and one on the cut bait. He's just a pulling down there and I'm gonna let him do it. <laughs> I've waited all night to get these bites. I'm gonna take my time and enjoy the fight. <laughs> On the days when the action's on fire, you kind of take it for granted, but nights like tonight where you got long periods of time with nothing going on, makes you appreciate it a little more when them bites come. I'm curious to see what this one is. It's kind of acted like a blue, but it may be another flathead. Most of what I get on live bait is blues. We'll see here in a minute when we get him up here. Seeing some bubbles over there. Yeah, it is. That ain't a bad blue either, man. That's a, that's a pretty good size one. Look at that. Heck yeah, man. We'll take that. Woo! Folks, that's a good blue cat right there now. That is a nice blue cat. On the live bait. He did not want to cut bait over there. But the live gizzard chad enticed him. <laughs> Finally got us a good fish out here tonight. It's been a long day. Finally got what I was looking for though. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, 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 buddy. He's still got some energy in him, don't he? Let's throw him on the board here right quick. Let's get a quick length on him. He's a long fish, man. Guys, that's a good fish. He'll just be just shy of 38 inches. That's a nice one. All right, man. Well, one last look at him. We're gonna send him home. <laughs> See you, buddy. 
there we go all right well if nothing else we're gonna get a video out of this trip I uh, sitting here debating earlier if I wanted to post the video with just them two small flatheads but a few minutes after that last flathead here comes that big blue and I think we'll go ahead and post this video but I ain't done out here yet that blue's got me a little bit excited I had planned on leaving here shortly but now I got that one final live bait which is a, another crappie in the tank there I think I'm gonna put him on the hook and see what he can do for us all right guys here's our next bait that's a big crappie that thing's almost 13 inches it really needs a double hook rig but I don't have one tied on so we're gonna go single hook and we're gonna drop him down see what happens worst case scenario he just gets ripped off the hook or don't get hooked up but we got a hook in him he's in the water but we got a chance so right up here is front one got hit and I think it's sweet but I think it is let me just reel down on him yeah he's oh she's behind me got me bum I didn't know he took off that far he had I felt him hit it he must have swam up and out toward behind me, kind of going behind the kayak. This one here ate a white bass body section. Don't know what he is. I'm going to assume he's probably a blue. Just based on the fight, but we'll see when we get him up here. Yep. Old fun sizer. Yeah, that right, right there, y'all. That right there says it all about today. I'll show you when I get him in here. Oh, crap. He just popped the hook right there. Well, fiddlesticks. He's an old fun sizer. Not real big, but that fish, what I was going to say, that fish, I could see when I got him up here, his belly, all mud, one side of him, just all mud. And that kind of just explains it all about this morning where I struggled so bad and out here this evening where the bite has just been dead out here. That fish has been hunkered down. And so these fish are just, probably all of them I would say, are just inactive right now for whatever reason. We had a, we had some rain come through earlier this morning. I don't know if you know that messed up the pressure or what, but uh, these fish have been inactive for me and that one right there, except he was just covered in mud. So. Uh, I'd say they've been burrowed down back in there, but you know what? They all got to eat eventually. So you put enough time in on a spot, they're going to get active and they're going to come through. And hopefully, we'll get one or two more here uh, before I leave because I was getting ready to go and I got that other fish and I waited a little while. Now that one, so uh, I don't know. I may stick it out a few more minutes. Maybe they turn it on. Oh, that front rod got thumped and it's swimming. Let's reel down on him. There he is. Yeah. Getting us another one. They're getting a little bit more active here. Murphy's Law says it's going to happen when I'm about to leave. <laughs> That's all right, though. Better late than never. blue cat just old dink right there but that one there ate a piece of white bass he's just a little feller but happy to get him not like tonight when it's been slow every bite counts <laughs> I'm just gonna rehook that bait and drop it back down since I ain't got much longer here that I'm gonna fish I ain't gonna Put a fresh bait on but we'll use that one again see if we can get something else on it there's a fish on that front rod again that's on that white bass body section again y'all we got eat again i'm glad i dropped it back down there these fish they're getting a little bit more active right here 
taken a long time today to get them to turn on, but they, that's, that's a few fish right here in just a short period of time. Let's get this one up here and take a look at it and see what we got. I bet that's another blue. I feel him rolling. Oh, he's pulling though. He's a strong one. Still ain't got a look at him. I know I'm close. I've seen the bubbles come up. It's one of them old fun sizes right there. <laughs> got a little piece of. Pull it back up here. A little piece of white bass got it done for us again with old fun size blue that fish is long buddy that's a long blue cat he ain't very fat but he's got some length to him let me just stick him here on the board for you guys that fish right there he'll almost touch 34 inches that's a good fun size fish yeah old fun size are come along and ate him that piece of cut white bass I guess it's been a pretty even split tonight with the live and the cut bait. Uh, mm, goodness, let's let him go before he acts a fool up in here. That biggest fish, you know, came on the live gizzard shad, but uh, right there's a pretty decent fish on the cut bait. All right, y'all, it's about time for me to go, but my live crappie here is still alive and kicking. I don't want to waste him, so I'm going to put him back in the bait well. And if he'll stay alive, we'll use him as a live bait on the next trip. All right, y'all, though, it is about 12.30. I have stayed out here much later than what I had anticipated staying today. But, you know, that's what it took. That's what it took to get it done. Because when I first got out here, there just wasn't anything happening. I wasn't catching anything, no ding taps, no nothing. And then there was a window of opportunity here, there for... 30 minutes to an hour or fish kind of turned on and you know it paid off in the end uh ended up tonight with a couple decent blues got a couple flatheads and had a good time out here there was some long stretches of nothing but you know that's why you got to just put the time in and when you put the time in and you get rewarded with some good fish it makes it all worthwhile i'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching